We all want to get shredded and have a great god body. And up until now, it was either picking fat burners that were not that potent, like green tea, yohibin, caffeine, or potent fat burners with side effects. Like growth hormone replacement therapy, anabolic steroids, and that is until AOD 9604 was discovered, a powerful peptide that contains more potent fat burning effects than growth hormone and targets fat loss specifically. Not only is it a potent fat burner, but it's cost effective and has a high safety profile. Because of these powerful benefits, many peptide researchers have been studying and experimenting with this compound, including me. Let's take a deep dive into AOD 9604, where I'll be sharing all my experience and research with this compound. A little disclaimer guys, I'm not a doctor, this information is purely educational, but please keep that in mind. So what is AOD 9604? AOD 9604 stands for anti-obesity drug and it actually comes from the growth hormone amino acid. It's actually a synthetic fragment of the growth hormone amino acid. And it contains similar but more potent fat burning effects than growth hormone itself, which is pretty crazy. And it's important to note that FRAG176191 is not the same thing as AOD9604. Many places will say that AOD9604 and FRAG176191 are the same thing, which they are not. FRAG176191 is actually a less stable and less effective form than AOD9604. So how does AOD9604 work? Well, it targets fat metabolism specifically. So it helps enhance fat metabolism by increasing how fast the body burns fat and as well, it prevents fat storage. So it works on both sides of fat metabolism, increasing fat metabolism and as well decreasing fat storage. And something interesting about AOD9604 is that it does not affect blood sugar levels or tissue growth, which many growth hormone treatments can do that. So AOD9604 just targets fat metabolism. And lastly, something unique about AOD9604 is that it does not use the same receptors as the growth hormone receptors, which can be very advantageous if someone wants to combine growth hormone peptides with AOD9604. So what are the research benefits of AOD9604? Well, the main benefit is that it helps with fat metabolism by increasing how fast the body burns fat and decreasing fat storage. Additionally, it has other regenerative properties because it actually comes from the growth hormone amino acid. The last main benefit is that it mimics how naturally growth hormone regulates fat metabolism. So, so what that means is that it increases fat metabolism and prevents fat storage in a natural way that your body already does. So now let's go into the research side effects of AOD9604. From my experience, my research, this peptide is actually pretty safe. The most common reported side effect is chance of infection upon injecting, which in my opinion can be greatly reduced with proper injecting techniques. Besides that, I have not seen any other major side effects from my research or from studying the peptide community. So now let's go into the research dosing and cycling. And this is coming from studying the most renowned peptide experts and as well my own experience and studying the peptide community. So what I've seen is anywhere from 250 to 300 micrograms one or two times a day through a subcutaneous injection or injection under the skin. And I've seen this peptide can be taken up to six months in continuous dose. And when it comes to the best time to take this peptide, some theorize taking this peptide before a workout or in a fasted state to maximize the fat burning effects and in addition to inject this peptide around the area the subject is trying to lose fat. So for example, if I was trying to lose fat in my stomach, I would inject in my stomach. If I was trying to lose fat in my thigh, I would inject into my thigh. How effective is that? Who knows, but that is just my research and my experience from studying the peptide community. Now here are some noteworthy supplements I would stack with AOD9604. The first would be the Masculine Medicine, which I believe to be the strongest natural test booster on the market. I make it myself and I take it myself and it's the best way to have higher levels of testosterone. So if you have high levels of testosterone, you're gonna be burning more fat, building more muscle, which is a great complement with AOD9604. The next noteworthy supplement would be some kind of natural fat burner like yohibin, caffeine, or green tea, just to add to the fat burning effects. Now, what are some noteworthy peptides I would take with AOD9604? The first would be some kind of growth hormone combo, such as modgrf 129 with ipirelin or ipirelin with testosterone. Both these combos help the body create and release growth hormone, which growth hormone is a hormone of vitality, which helps with burning fat and building muscle. 
but especially the main goal of burning fat, adding this with AOD 9604 can be very potent. The next noteworthy peptide I would add to AOD 9604 would be either be semi-glutide or Tizer peptide, which these two peptides are very potent when it comes to weight loss and appetite suppression. And AOD 9604 is a very fat burning peptide. So combining AOD 9604 with these peptides could be very advantageous if the main goal is burning fat. The next noteworthy peptide I would add would be IGF-1 LR3, which this peptide really shines at helping build more muscle and burn more fat. So adding in AOD 9604 can really enhance that fat burning effects. So this can be really advantageous if the main goal is to really have a chiseled physique. The next noteworthy peptide I would add to AOD 9604 would be MOT-C. MOT-C is often called the exercise induced peptide. It works on the mitochondria, has tons of benefits, as well, it actually helps regulate fat metabolism. So adding the AOD 9604 with MOTC could really supercharge the fat metabolism. The next noteworthy peptide I would look into would be KISS Peptin 10. KISS Peptin 10 starts the entire testosterone cascade. So, you know, that could be a great goal if somebody wants to increase testosterone as well, burn fat. And the last noteworthy peptide I would look into to add to AOD 9604 would be 5-amino-1-MQ. 5-amino-1-MQ helps the body produce more NAD, which NAD plays a crucial role in so many different processes, some being helped with fat metabolism, preserving muscle mass, more anti-aging benefits. So overall, it's one of my favorite peptides and can just enhance overall experience with AOD 9604. So what are the pros of AOD 9604? The first pro is that it targets fat metabolism specifically. It's really, I think, the only peptide that really just targets burning fat and preventing fat storage. The second pro is that it stacks well with other growth hormone peptides and other peptides in general. And the last pro, from my experience, it has a high safety profile. So what are the major cons of AOD 9604? From my experience, a major con is that there's limited clinical studies. So it's hard to say how effective is this peptide. So what is my overall opinion of AOD 9604? Well, I actually have extensive experience with AOD 9604. I've used it on and off for many years. And it's hard to say how effective is it, but I will say when I was using it, I definitely noticed I would sweat more in my workout and overall I felt I was burning more fat. But did I see like a visible change? It's really hard to say because I do so many things at once for my body. But overall, I love this peptide, just seeing how it works and also the price point and just the safety profile. I really enjoyed it. I didn't have any side effects. And overall, it's a peptide I continue to use in my peptide regimen, especially when combined with other peptides. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. That is all my research and experience over AOD 9604. If you want to master peptides and have an easy condensed format of all this information, check out my book, Peptides Made Simple. It's everything you need to master peptides. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and stick around for future videos.